Hello and welcome to the Eastern Idaho Planning Briefing for Friday, May 8th. This is what the briefing will include today. We are looking for below freezing temperatures this morning for the Snake River Plain in Eastern Magic Valley. Unusual for this time of year and a frost advisory and freeze warnings have been issued for the area. For today and the entire weekend, uh, expect very little clouds and a strong warming trend. Uh, winds will continue to be light to moderate. Uh, then starting Monday, low pressure at the coast will push unstable moist air into southern Idaho all week. And this will cause showers along with afternoon and overnight thunderstorms, sometimes going late into the night. So we'll take a look at this. You can see uh, there's high pressure over the Four Corners area that is pushing up into this area. And is basically we're on the dry side of this material here which will be swinging through the northern Rockies and southern Canada and won't be affecting us except to bring a few scattered clouds. This is the main low that will arrive at the coast by Monday. Uh, not quite at the coast but a little offshore and that will be pumping moisture in and then it will get uh, basically pushed through California, Nevada and then finally into southern Idaho and it is unstable air it is moist and so that means at this time of year showers and thunderstorms so let's take a look at that um, there is a slight chance of rain I should say today in the eastern highlands it's a very remote chance um, basically from north of uh, Driggs all the way up to the Wyoming or uh, where Wyoming, Montana, Idaho all meet. And so for Max in uh, Island Park areas, you may see some shower activity, but it should be uh, pretty light. Um, really pretty much a break until um, late after midnight on Sunday. There is a slight chance of thunderstorms actually in the Lava Hot Springs area. Again, it's just a slight chance, which means less than 25%. But on Monday, it'll come in full force. Some places seeing a chance of thunderstorms, mostly in the highland areas. And you can see here also in the Lost River area. Elsewhere, uh, Sawtooth and Lemmy County also have a chance. But uh, the Wood River, just a slight chance. Uh, same for the Snake Plain and Magic Valley and the so Southern Hills. That gets a little bit better for Tuesday. And actually, in Lemmy County, thunderstorms are likely for that area. And these thunderstorms, we aren't expecting any of it to be severe. Um, so we're looking at, uh, at most, pea-sized hail, you know, gusts to around 35 miles an hour or so out of the thunderstorms. That would be about it, if that much. And if you get a storm, again, chance would mean less than 60% uh, coverage of the area in question. So uh, what we'll just wrap up with here are um, forecast lows followed by the highs in chronological order. So you can see how the trends will be. Here you can see why we have the uh, freeze warning out with temperatures reaching 30 degrees and the frost advisories uh, because they're basically between 38 and 32 where you, you can get frost that warm. And then the highs today. And if you want to take a detailed look at these, of course, you can pause. These are low temperatures for tomorrow morning. These are the highs for Saturday. So uh, once again, just look for the uh, below freezing temperatures this morning, but really just benign weather for the next three days, and then starting Monday, a uh, return to thunderstorm activity. That's all I have. If you have any further questions, you can always contact us at the telephone number here. Or check out the weather yourself at weather.gov/pocatello. Thanks for watching.